TikTok is undoubtedly the best platform to start a following with the best chance to go viral if your content is liked by many. Take my case, for example, with my account Robo Nuggets, in just a few days, I went from zero to six million views in just two months. And I did that just by posting every day. Well, what if you can make unique content every day and post it to TikTok and just have that whole process automated by AI? This lesson will teach you exactly how to do that. So in this video, you will learn how to mass create content for your specific niche using ChatGPT and Canva, similar to some of the videos here, so that you can literally make 100 unique footages if you want to in just a few minutes. And also how to load that content into a make.com automation, which will basically post to your TikTok account every day or even every hour if you want. So we will go through all the steps in full. But to help make it easier, I've actually made all the resources and the prompts you need available in our community, as well as the make.com blueprint. So if you have that file, what you can just do is import it into make.com and it will actually create the automation already for you. So that's all available in our community, which you can just find in the video description. It's a growing community and you can see there's a lot of people here collaborating and learning about AI and automation. And we also have a lot of other lessons that you can go through so that you can learn as much about artificial intelligence and automation as you can. So feel free to check that out if you are keen. All right, let's dive in. So our goal for this exercise is to create videos like this one where you can see they just post quotes against beautiful backdrops of footages and they already have around 277,000 followers which is great because this type of content can be automated quite easily with the steps that we will go through here. We will do this in two parts. Part one is about creating the footage that you will mass produce via the help of ChatGPT and Canva, and then put them into a dropbox.com link, like what I have here as an example. And then part two is to set up the make.com automation so that we can run it and schedule it daily or even hourly so that it posts to your TikTok account on that specific time frame. So part one is how do we actually create these aesthetic coat footages en masse? Your very first step is to start a Google Sheets and this template we have available in the community. Now, if you're part of the community, what you can just do to copy this template is click on file and then click make a copy and that will create a duplicate of this sheet in your own G drive. But essentially it just has five columns here the ID, which we will use later on, the title of the video, the actual quote that we will actually put into the TikTok posts, and the caption. So obviously, all of these I did not make myself. What you just want to do to create those is head over to ChatGPT, provide a prompt like this one. So I ask it to give me a few quotes in a table format. Each quote should be about whatever your specific niche is. For this one, I chose travel. I limited it to a few characters so that the text doesn't overspill in our ad. And I specified the three columns that it would have, as well as a few guiding principles there. So once I have that, I just copy paste that into our Google Sheet template, like so. And very easily, I already have 10 more pieces of content that I can do. Let's make sure to add in the ID there because we will use that later. And then finally, have this status column, which is basically saying not posted, which I will explain in a bit. So great, now you have your template for your content. Now, how do you actually create the videos? Well, you can head over to canva.com and click on create a design and find the mobile video template. So if you look at our end in mind video, there's basically two parts or two elements to it. One is the background video, which is that of a sunset and this piece of text. And by the way, this template is already available in our community if you just want to reuse it and download it. But if you're starting from scratch, the way that you get a background video is to simply head over to pexels.com, search the specific video that you want. In this case, I chose sunset, and then filter for the ones that are vertical. And you can see it already provides you a lot of options here. And what's great about Pexels is that if you click on it, they are actually all uh, free to use. 
And if you download that, it doesn't even require you to sign up. So it's very easy to use and is an amazing resource to know overall. So now that we have that video, I will just drag and drop that footage or that file into Canva. And it already has it cleanly available here. Now, I sort of like this white background aesthetic. So what I just did in that final video was to hit on crop and then click on 4x5, adjust it a bit based on my preference. And there you have it. You have a slightly more aesthetic design in there. And then this video is 15 seconds. So it's really up to you how long you want it to be. But if you want to adjust the duration, you do it here at the bottom. And then finally, if I want to add in text, just click on text, add a text box. So it doesn't really matter what you put in here because it's just placeholder text that we will replace pretty soon. And there, you have your template up and ready. So what you want to do next is to use the bulk create option. If you don't see that, just head on over to apps. And if you scroll down, you can find it here, bulk create. And if I click that, so bulk create is actually a premium Canva option. But when you use Canva for the first time, they offer a generous free 30 day trial. So I suggest you use that so that you don't have to pay on in the first instance. And the way you use bulk create is very easy. So once you go to that menu, click on enter data manually, and then just click clear table. And then here, it looks like it's a spreadsheet. So what you just want to do is go back to your Google Sheet template and then copy the quotes that you want to generate a video for. So in this case, I will first create 10 videos just to provide an example. And I'll just put it here. And now that I have that in there, click on done. And then the third step here is to connect this data to your elements. So that element in my case would be this text, which if I highlight, click on more, I can choose connect data. And I can choose that input that I just made just now. This placeholder text is now linked to this data field. And if I click continue, you can see it will now start to create these specific videos and generate nine designs in this case. And once that's done, it will open a new tab with all of those videos bulk created. So instead of the placeholder text, you now have different videos saying entirely different quotes. Now to download that, you want to click share, click on download, and then very important, make sure to click on this download pages as separate files so that it will create nine videos for you. So click on download. And as a final step for this part, go to dropbox.com and just create a folder where you can dump all of those videos like I did here. Also quite important that the names are sequenced by numbers like you see here. Canva should automatically name them for you, but just a reminder so that you don't try to rename them after the fact. So that is part one already completed. Now you have your videos bulk created. How do you then now set it up so that it is going to be posted every day to TikTok? So that is what we will be covering in part two, which begins by making your make.com account. So if you head to that website, click on get started free, and that should allow you to, to create your own make.com account. And once you're here at the dashboard, just click on create a new scenario at the top right. And if you're part of the community, what you can just do is click on more here at the bottom, click on import blueprint, and then import the blueprint that we have in the resources. And that should automatically create this workflow for you, which is much easier versus having to set it up one by one. But for the sake of this exercise, let's just do it and set it up. To explain high level, what this automation does, you can see these very first two modules are just getting the elements that we would need for that post that we are about to make. The Google Sheets that we just created has a title and the caption. Our Dropbox, where we just uploaded the video, would have the actual footage that we will upload. This JSON template, I'll explain in a bit, but it's basically a, just a template that will be passed on to AirShare which is the third-party tool that we will need to use to connect to TikTok's API. And the reason why we need AirShare is because TikTok actually has a 
very restricted API, and this tool actually has clearance to access it. So amongst the tools out there now, I'd say Airshare would be the best one to use for TikTok at the moment. And once it's posted, it's done. There's just an extra module here, which I will explain in a bit. So to start off with this portion of the lesson, when you have a new scenario, just click on Google Sheets and then look for search rows. Once you have that there, you just click on add a G Sheets connection if you haven't yet, and that will just take you to a pop-up with a single sign-on for Google, very easy. And then for spreadsheet ID, just link it to the template that you had last time. So when you have that linked, just find the sheet where you put in those quotes. And then for the filter, you want the status to be not posted. And please pay attention to the capitalization here. It should match whatever you have in your Google Sheet because even a period or a space will throw off the whole automation. And then order by row number and then limit to one. And what that basically does, if you run it and you click on this magnifying glass icon, you can see it just found the very first row that has a status of not posted, which would be the row at the top. And this is the quote that we would be using in a bit. So that's done. Next, you'll want to click on Dropbox and find create or update a share link. So again, if you don't have this connection, just click on add. That will take you to a pop-up for a single sign-on. Once you have that done, click on select a file or folder. And here, you just want to select any of the footages that you just created. So I put it here under R11 folder, and any of these will do, as you'll see in a bit. So I'll just click the first one. And what I want to do is click on map. And what I want is to replace this number one and make it dynamic. So if I go to the options I have here, I want it to be replaced by the ID, which right now the example value is one. So what this will return is the file name called one.mp4, which would be this specific video that you have, which matches this specific row in your Google Sheets. So that is good. Everything else here, just follow my lead. Just click on max access and we don't want any expiration date there. And what that will do, if I just run this whole thing, is it will again get the very first row. It will now pass on that row into Dropbox and it will find the video for us, which you can see here, download URL. If I copy that and paste that in, it actually downloaded for me the video that I just uploaded. So that is a good way to test out the connection. Now for the next step is now going into AirShare. So first off, just create two modules here. Leave that for now. And then find this HTTP module, this make a request module. And for you to set that up, so if I were just to follow what our template looked like, we will need to go to AirShare and just click get started now. And once you are in your dashboard, just head over first to your social accounts and then activate TikTok. So if you click on that, it will show you a pop-up that will let you directly link it to your TikTok account. So for this case, I made a new TikTok account just to illustrate what it would look like. So just a note, AirShare is quite powerful, but they do require you now, unfortunately, to sign up to a premium pricing plan before you can post to TikTok. So that's just an FYI if you want to start getting serious about automating posting to that platform. So now with that linked, you can now go back to your make.com automation. And then if you click on JSON, you want to add a new data structure. And what we'll be doing here is to create a template that we will pass on to Airshare. So if you click on add, click on generate, you will want to put in sample data here. And this sample data you can find in this URL, which I would have in the video description as well. Find this piece that says TikTok video post, copy that whole JSON snippet, paste that in here, and then just make sure to remove the comments, which is denoted by these two backslashes. So everything there, and then everything here should be okay. Click on generate, and that just generated a template for you. 
which is great. You can just rename it as such and then just hit save. So there are three attributes here. We'll fill them up accordingly. The post is basically the caption of the video that will be passed through. So if you just click that, scroll down to your G Sheets, find the caption, then it will just collect the caption that's available here in your G Sheets. For the media URL, that will be the actual video that you will be posting. So just again, click on it and then find the download URL, which is available in the Dropbox module. Click on that. And then finally, platforms, just type in TikTok. And again, pay attention to the capitalization and the spaces. It should be exactly like this so that Airshare would accept it. And then click OK. So that's done. Finally, this module will make a request to the Airshare API. So you would want to paste in their URL here. You would want to change the method to post. You would want to add in two headers here. The first one will be called authorization. And under that, you would type in bearer and then your API key. Now, this API key you can get by going back to Airshare, clicking on this portion, and it will have that API key readily available for you. So just paste that in. And then for item two, just type in content type. Again, pay attention to the capitalization, and the value would be application slash JSON. Next, select body type as raw, content type as JSON, and then the request content, you would want the JSON string that you just created from here. And then parse response as yes. And now that should be all set up. So now if you run this, it will now get the caption from the Google Sheets. It will now get the video from Dropbox. It will now create that JSON template using those values and then pass it on to Airshare to make a post. Now the final thing to add is another Google Sheets module and find in update a row. And what this module will be doing is get the row that we just got and upload it to TikTok, change the status from not posted to posted so that the next time automation runs, it will now pick up this row. It will change this to posted and then so on and so forth so that we don't repeat the content. So if I just move that back. So to do that in make, again, just add a G Sheets connection you would want to search by path and find the spreadsheet, find the spreadsheet template that you were just working on. Click on the sheet where all those information is in. And then for the row number, if you scroll down, you can just get the row number from the very first GCS module. And then you would want to change status to say posted. And again, please watch the spelling and capitalization and click on OK. And there, that is now our automation fully done. Make sure to turn on that scenario and the schedule, have it run every day if you want. Click on OK. And every day at this specific time, it should run and post to your TikTok account. So if you just run that once, you will see your Google Sheets update to having a posted status for the video that just got posted. And you now have this video that is completely original catered to your specific niche that is posted a few seconds ago from that automation. So now every day, this automation will run and it will pick up those videos that you have created en masse. And that's it. Starting something like this would have taken ages just a couple of months ago. But now with a little bit of creativity and just varying the backgrounds and selecting a specific niche, as well as some patience before your profile can get traction, you'll be able to garner a lot of following. Then if you're in the US, you can potentially monetize via the TikTok Creator Fund and earn some passive income from this exercise. And my advice, choose a niche that you would want to follow yourself so that when you create this content and start automating it, then you can simply be one of the very first followers of this account. And if you find value from the account that you just created, then more than likely, a lot more people will find value in it too. And that's basically the secret to growing an account like this one. So if you like this content, feel free to give a like or subscribe. It helps us a lot. And check out some of the other lessons available in our channel as well as in the community if you want to learn more about AI and automation. See you next time. Thank you.